वेलकम बैक एट फ्रंटलाइन न्यूज चैनल फाइनली यूथ रिजेक्ट रूटो रायला मल्टी सेक्टरल डायलॉग एस दे से दैट रिटर्न टू द सेंडर लेडीज एंड जेंट्समैन जेंसीज आर नाउ एंग्री टोटल टोटली एंग्री विद रायला अमोलो ओडिंगा अबाउट अ कन्वर्सेशन विद विलियम समोई रूटो एट द केआईसीसी टुडे इन द मॉर्निंग The youth have rejected the move by the president William Samoei Ruto co opt political players in a planned multi sectoral dialogue armed at addressing the issues raised by Kenyans in the wake of the recent anti government protest the latest development come after the president and the azimio leader Raila Amolo Odinga announced that they had agree on a broad based political ag- arrangement to chart the future from the current situation the country is f- facing however the involvement of the political players in the six day dialogue forum has elicited a major backlash from different groups representing the youth who have accused the political class of hijacking the movement in a tans but hard hitting hitting statement on a tuesday the youth accused the former pre- premier of attempting to hijack their movement by saddling with their oppressors the youth said it will not be business as usual as they are prepared to drain the swamp and nothing will silence them dear raila amolo odinga this is a message Your decision today to stand with our oppressors validated our choice of not wanting you involved in our protest from the beginning read in part of the statement we will not allow you to hijack our movement to satisfy your political greed don't speak for us and today you have shown that you stand with the thieves and killers we will not be silenced we will drain the swamp with you isn't this is not a business as usual the statement added to Raila Amolo Odinga in the bold message that they sent to him the gen z said for the past weeks they have fought for their rights both in the street and online space and have paid the price with dozen abducted tortured and killed this was not in vain we will not dialogue with our oppressors we want change and we want it now president william ruto has said that the six day forum which is set to run between july 15 and 2024 will propose the way forward for the country this is the result of constituency we have gone through this morning and we look forward to beginning the forum monday next week said at the head of the state mr odinga added that the move to agree on dialogue follow extensive consultation with the president william samoi ruto we have agreed that a dialogue is the way forward out of the crisis we are having today in our country we have agreed to give people an opportunity to be heard so that lasting solution can be found we want it to be engaging conversation on the way forward that we are dealing with fundamental issues that are affecting our society today the azmio raila molo dinga said that dialogue is the only way forward that the government can use to move the country out of the crisis he said that the country is ready for the grievances that the gen z's have been raising in the recent days we need to start by identifying and secondly coming up in a solution to these problems we think that this forum will help us to move forward mr odinga said Mr Odinga also said that the issue of unemployment corruption debt and management of the economic are among the issues that will address in the forum for his part wiper party leader kalonzo musyoka said the country is at a cross road and there is no way the gen z revolution can be wished away a lot of kenyans wanted to 
wanted us to open the dialogue space, but that has now, uh, now been done by the Gen Zs. If you are not careful, all of us will throw out by the Gen Zs and they say they have gone of age and they are no longer the leaders of tomorrow. According to their president, the panel will be made up to 150 members who represent various stakeholders, out of which 50 will be youth. The remaining 100 slot will represent other sectors, including the religious community, civil society, the professional groups, as well as the political party. Before I conclude, ladies and gentlemen, the president said that the forum is mandated to come with a proposal on the way forward for the country. However, another statement from leaders Gen Z, Milsner, said the youth are no longer content with mere dialogue or promises, but want immediate and concrete action. The group said they are frustrated and disappointed in the current state of the affairs in the country as they concern have been met with indifference. We represent a generation that value result of a riotic. Our stance is clear. Tribalness, our alliance is to future of this nation and we demand our voice we heard and our concern be addressed with the agency they serve the statement part is ready ladies and gentlemen let us mix the next video that will be applied next news that will be uploaded to you shortly within no time here in frontliner podcast stay tuned for more